Brad, product specialist here at Kinsey, and want to talk about our 5000 series fertilizer option. It's a new redesigned system to provide better solutions for you as the user to provide better rate ranges. So we support anywhere from 3 to 25 gallons an acre at anywhere from 3 to 12 miles an hour. So better rate range than our previous generation systems. On our 5000 series, of course, the heart and the biggest change we've made is gone to a diaphragm style pump. What this allows us to do, again, provide that wider rate range. Two, provides a better solution for long-term durability. So it's a fully, of course, diaphragm style pump with oiled case to, again, just provide that longevity for the pump. And more importantly, allows you to run 10 minutes completely dry if you run out of fertilizer and not prevent damage to the pump like an older centrifugal style pump is. Long durability, of course, it's hydraulically driven. Of course, in any 5000 series model planner, hydraulic requirements, really not a concern because of course it comes standard with our variable displacement PTO pump. So as we're talking about that variable displacement feature on the PTO pump side, we've kind of taken that and in, a, in essence made that into the fertilizer system as well. So of course, the heart of the system is the diaphragm pump itself. The ability to control that rate range and pressure range on all of those varying application rates and speed sizes. We utilize a valve and control system that's very similar to a pressure and flow compensated style of pump, or at least kind of a good way to think about it. Where we're varying the pump, pressure, and flow depending on your rate design, your speed, and of course, the product itself. We utilize a couple different control features, one being we utilize a two flow meter style of system. So kind of one is located here, one's kind of underneath the tank hidden. But we utilize two flow meters to really dial in and be and give us the ability to really fine tune that rate so ensure that we're applicating the right rate at the right speed that you have selected in the Blue Vantage display. So we have one flow meter that's doing the higher end ranges of that desired rate and a smaller flow meter to really fine tune and see what rate ranges or make that finite adjustment as you get into a lower rate range or a lower speed. The beauty of the system, again, it does it automatically on which flow meter it needs to control. And of course, it automatically adjusts the pressure range as well to really provide the most optimum operating pressure flow for your desired rate output. So really provide better flexibility, better longevity of the system, and again, more importantly, support all the rate ranges uh, for your application. The other benefit, of course, we've <clears throat> introduced on this specific 40-foot model, of course, 500 gallons of capacity, and we offer capacities all the way up to 750 gallons, depending on the size of planner and configuration. But more importantly, again, listening to you guys as the customers added more options factory installed. And the biggest one with the addition of this positive displacement diaphragm style pump is we've added the ability for us to pull from remote tanks. So on this 40 foot, 24 row, 20 inch model, this one has the tractor fill kit factory installed. So what does that do? Well, it gives us a factory installed fertilizer supply hose that gets you to the hitch. So you can utilize tractor tanks or saddle tanks on the tractor to really increase your fertilizer capacity on the, on the machine. Once you connect to your saddle tanks, on the front of the tractor. Of course, we open our valve at the hitch. On the other side of the tank, there are two valves that you rotate to then draw from those fertilizer tanks from the tractor. So you can fill your, of course, your tank on the planter. Once that runs out, you flip two valves and you're now pulling from your auxiliary tank to again, just increase efficiency and productivity, especially when applying liquid fertilizer. On our 5900 model planners, of course, again, we offer the tractor saddle tank option, but anything that has a rear trailer hitch, we offer a trailer hitch kit as well. So you kind of pick and choose which one is best for your operation or how you have your liquid fertilizer tank set up. Hitch one is here for tractor tanks. Rear trailer hitch would be the same scenario. We would, again, run an auxiliary hose back there that you could connect to a trailer that you're pulling behind the planter 
Same rules apply once you run your main fertilizer tank out, you flip two valves and then you start again pulling from the rear fertilizer tank. So provides a lot of expanded capability utilizing this fertilizer system, both with the diaphragm style pump that allows you to again, pull from remote tanks, provide a better rate range, is more serviceable and more durable because you can let this pump run dry up to 10 minutes and not cause any issues uh, with pump durability. It's also of course a oil-based crankcase design. So I mean, from an annual maintenance on this pump, you're simply changing the crankcase oil on an annual basis to again, just provide long-term durability and longevity. So a lot of enhancements with the new fertilizer system on our 5000 series planters. We kind of talk about the pump and the control valves and our remote side of things. Let's walk back to the toolbar and kind of go through the new flow switch, shutoff valves, et cetera, on the toolbar itself that actually applies that fertilizer to the row. So we talk about the controls up front, pump, valves, that sort of thing. As we get to the row unit, kind of dive into what's actually at the row doing the on off and flow sense control on the row. So new design package, really kind of bringing everything together so it's easy to service, more reliable, uh, and easy to access, especially from a clean out standpoint. So of course, every row has its own shutoff valve and flow sensor. Of course, that's all read out on the Blue Vantage display so you know if the flow is not flowing. But as a full package on the rail, so of course it's a common manifold rail going across the toolbar, each row has its own shutoff, flow sensor, which is of course the vertical one here. And then of course our orifice on this side, of course, where our drop tube comes out. This planter being a 5700 has the stainless steel drop tube on the side of the row unit for fertilizer application. On a 5900 model, we of course can support the in row drop tube or the two by two fertilizer opener on the toolbar frame itself. So if we dive into the row unit, flow sensor and shut off valve. Of course, we have the flow on and off control valve over here, which is our 24 volt uh, T-Jet valve. We then have the flow sensor up top. So a new design flow sensor, a lot easier to service. Underneath, it's just a quarter turn cap. Once you turn that quarter turn cap, it comes off. Inside this cavity lives a small pinwheel for a lack of better description inside this shutoff valve. If a row said that it was not applying fertilizer, we could come disassemble this top cap, take this pinwheel out, access any components inside of there. And the beauty is there's no components to access. It's purely this pinwheel turning. We have two magnetic balls on the top of it, which of course are spinning as this guy's going around uh, in a circle. And of course, then our sensor up top is picking up those balls rotating as that pinwheel turns. So there's really not any components in there. It's super easy to clean out if there was any sort of tacky fertilizer or any fertilizer that was settling out, any of those things. You can easily get in there, clean out, pull out debris, whatever might be inside. It lives or the pinwheel lives on the center stud inside of there. So again, easily replaceable from all the component standpoint. It simply lives on um, the point inside this cavity. It only goes on one way, so if you cannot get the cap on, something's more than likely not seating correctly on the pinwheel. Again, to put it back together, it only goes together one way. It's keyed, you put that quarter turn on, and you're back and ready to go. Once we get past this, we got the shutoff, the sensor that's physically indicating if there's flow at the row, and again, it's just flow or no flow. It's not a rate item at this time. It's just a flow, no flow. And then you get to the end cap, which is where, of course, our fertilizer orifice lives. And of course, every row has its own orifice. Of course, we offer multiple different orifice sizes as part of the fertilizer kit. You, of course, would change your orifice size in here depending on what fertilizer rate you're trying to achieve, what your rate range is going to be, et cetera. Again, one of the beauties of the new style fertilizer system is you get a lot wider rate range on a per orifice size and a per speed range. So just provides you a lot more flexibility and uh, reduces the amount of times you would have to change orifices if you're planting multiple crops with the planter. So uh, just provides a lot of flexibility for you as the user. 
to get the right orifice the first time. The other th couple things we've added, again, just for a simple maintenance standpoint, is if you wanted to clean out this entire assembly, if there was something stuck in there that you wanted to get more access to it, it's simply held to the rail by a simple U-clip, and then once you remove that, of course, you simply pull the whole assembly off. You can disconnect your harnessing, take it to the workbench, blow air through it, whatever you need. Uh, to do to clean that out. So again, makes it super easy from a maintenance and uh, functionality standpoint. The other item we've added to do is just again, quick clean out end caps. So at the end of the season, middle of the season, you're changing products. You can simply take this hose clamp off. The end clamps come off with our flange style of seals. Allows you again to flush a large amount of water through it in a quick amount of time. Again, to allow you to simple, maintain, clean it out at the end of the season. Again, all the fertilizer system is controlled through Blue Vantage display. So all of your rate selection, all those type of thing, product naming, all is controlled through Blue Vantage. The other nice part is we have a built-in flush feature in Blue Vantage display. So we talked about clean out a little bit. Maybe you just wanted to clean out all the rows. You're making a, a smaller fertilizer change and you don't want to physically flush all the way out the ends of these delivery tubes. You can run a flush feature, which would basically simulate you sitting still. You can have the planter up, run a flush feature, and of course, all the fertilizer valves, et cetera, will open, which allow you again to run a bunch of water, cleaning solution, whatever it might be, through the system to ensure it's cleaned out prior to the end of the season, put antifreeze in it at the end of the year, all those type of things that you would do on any other sprayer system or any other fertilizer system as a maintenance piece you can do with Blue Vantage. Again, it's just a flush feature. Manually turns everything on. Again, it's all about making it easier for you guys in the field for end of season maintenance and mid season changes as well. More information, please visit Kinsey.com or visit with your local Kinsey dealer.